Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing Interstellar Rift. It is a game by Split Polygon, probably one of the games that I play the most. You are able to build your own ship, manufacture your own ship, and then actually man your ship throughout the universe, killing aliens or even taking on different kinds of missions. You can hack into other ships if you play on multiplayer and you can uh, board their ships taking out their crew and well taking their ship and scrapping it you can make it your own it's fun times good times Suntory times well if you get that reference anyway so what i want to show you today is actually the shipbuilding tool and then we're going to go ahead and look at a ship i've i've already made that is going to be in here and then in the next episode we're going to start working on a ship that we're going to use within the game and then finally in uh in the, after that is done we're going to go ahead and start our actual game where we travel throughout space completing missions so it should be pretty fun so here over on the left hand side is the interstellar ref ship editor you're going to go into here and it's going to tell you at the top to uh, make a ship complete you do have to have a teleporter you also have to have life support this also means that you have to have fans in the rooms that you create to be able to receive oxygen so those are very important things now, you can work in this environment any way that you want. For me, I use my arrow keys. I actually don't have the ability to uh, move this like uh, by just dragging to the edges. It doesn't automatically move for me. I like a little bit more control. That way I can work in it a whole lot easier. Also, I use the middle mouse button to turn. And uh, yeah, so... Whenever you're building a ship, you want to make sure that you build it in sections. That way, whenever you're going from one room to another room, you're able to see that it is using the correct name. So if we go ahead and create a room here by just using your left mouse button to drag. And let's go ahead and say we're going to add a little bit to the sides here so it's not too confined. Then we can go ahead and add a cockpit to here. Let's go ahead and use this small one. Here we are. And then we can go ahead and start filling this. We can put floors in here. Let's go ahead and put floors. You can put walls. Let's go ahead and put a wall there. We can go ahead and put in our oxygen so that we can... Uh, breathe in this room or the fans for the oxygen we'll go ahead and put that in right over here we'll use that red since that's what's on the walls as well then we can actually start putting systems in this room so if we go over to our prop tab which is this one we can go ahead and say that we want a double terminal here it allows us to just take a look at the basics of our ship. Then you can go ahead and put in an engineering terminal on this side. There you go. And say you want to have the ability to um, repair your ship from being hacked. Or if you want to hack other ships. You're going to need the uh, cyber warfare um, uh, table as well as probably want to have a data core terminal what the data core terminal does is it allows you to be able to put buffs on your ship so if you feel like you're going through hydrogen a lot you can actually reduce your uh, consumption things like that uh, also if uh, your guns are taking up too much power you can reduce the power but it's also going to increase other things so for every positive, you're going to have some sort of negative. It could be a good negative or it could be a bad negative. Meaning that, say you want your ship to fly faster. Well, of course, it's going to use more hydrogen. That kind of thing. You can also add uh, other things like a transponder. So that you can contact other ships. One of the great things about the transponder is you can take 
and uh, get into enemy territory where aliens are at, transpawn, and they will just come to you. And if you have the right kind of ship, one that's more uh, built for battle, then you can just absolutely destroy them. It's really fun. <laughs> so uh, there's that. And um, I'm trying to think of anything else you might want in here. I don't think there's really anything. Oh, there is one other thing that I really like to have on a ship. And um, I like to put a cockpit uh, or a, a captain's chair right here. And I also like to go ahead and put a jukebox in my, uh, in my ship. Because it does play music. There's that. And the last thing we want to do is put a ceiling on. Um, like this. We're going to go ahead and choose something like that. And hopefully... It's going to be going straight. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and put lighting in here. So you can actually change uh, change this to show what it's going to look, so, look like inside the ship with lighting and everything. And you can see it's going to be pretty dark. So we're going to choose um, this. And we're going to have it just go to every other one. I feel that minimal lighting is the best way to go because everything that has that requires power is pulling from your ship every second. And you can actually see up here um, uh, next to, uh, you can see max speed. And then you can also see right here warp power requirements. Uh, well, this also is showing how much power is required um per second to be able to run your ship so it takes 72 power per second to run the ship that means you need to be able to combat that with other things also uh, if you want to go into warp speed you need to have enough power to be able to produce um, that warp speed based on the actual weight of your own ship so this let's go ahead and say is this we finished our bridge we're going to go ahead and call it the bridge. And then we're going to go ahead and add another area. So we want to go ahead and press the add uh, room. And we're going to call this next one engineering and life support. There we go. Well, we'll just call it engineering just to make it smaller. So we're going to go ahead and now add on another room. There we go. We can even add a little bit more on the sides. And we can go ahead and turn on the light or turn off the light so we can just work in this space. So I'm going to go ahead and put my floors in always first. Um, let's go ahead and go with something like this. And we're going to go ahead and put some walls on as well. Something like this. And then we're going to go ahead and put a roof on. Which I'm going to also use the same. Hopefully this is correct. And now it's, it's set up. And the way you can tell it is, is by if you come out to the top here. You can now see that this is all this weird edge. That is all ceiling panels. So if for any reason you change the color of your room, you definitely want to go ahead and come up and then change the color of these ceiling panels up here as well. So now we need to go ahead and add a door between the two areas. Uh, that way we can get uh, to the bridge. And we need certain items. We need, um, we need hydrogen tanks. So we're going to go ahead and add hydrogen tanks. Or, I'm sorry, generators. So we'll go ahead and add two of them. Put two there. Actually, we'll put one there. Let's go ahead and fix. I'm very finicky about things like floors and just want it to look nice. There we go. And then we're going to actually put a hydrogen fuel tank in between this. So here we go. Fuel tank. Put it on the side there. And then on the other side, we're going to go ahead and put electrical. So we're going to come back over to here. Choose our power cells. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and have um, the last box area to be batteries. So we're going to come over here and we're going to have these be batteries. So there you go. And if we want to, we can do the same thing over here. We can put some batteries here as well. And then I want to go ahead and put life support in here. So we're going to go ahead and go back over here. This is our life uh, support machine. Again, we need fans in every room. We're going to go ahead and go with this color fan. You can also put floor fans on if you want as well. And um, there's that. You can actually go ahead and put more things in here if you wish. Uh, if you want to change from having ceiling lighting, you can actually go with um, this kind of lighting, which is over here. Let's go ahead and put some of this in here. Actually, choose to have it in the middle. And then we can do the same thing on the other side. Now, if we turn off the lights, uh, we are still able to access everything, see everything fine. And that is all that I require in my ship, is being able to access everything. Because whenever you get attacked uh, by a alien called Skrill, what they'll do is they'll put these eggs all over your uh, systems. So if you can't access them, uh, or say your ship is damaged beyond belief, you can't uh, repair them. So by having these batteries back here, this is not a good thing, but we have extras over here in, in case um, something bad happens. Um, also, you want to have access to all these very easily. And we're going to go ahead and put some other decorative items on here. We're going to put a wall-mounted uh, box so that we can um, put our different repair guns on. And then we're going to go ahead and put a um, another box. This is going to allow us to put ammunition in it. So that is pretty much that. And we can actually call this the, sh the ship. We don't have to add anything else to it. So then once you get done with how you have the interior and everything, we can go ahead and go to... Um, the exterior so you could do anything you want with this to be honest if you've ever played space engineers or anything like that um, you have free reign on how your ship is going to look I kind of don't like that this right here is like I mean how are you gonna work with that other than the fact that that's gonna stay that kind of block um, I mean you could try to throw on something like this but it just looks weird coming over this this specific cockpit so um, I usually don't mess with that <laughs> cockpit too much uh, as as a uh, rule of thumb but you can go ahead and do things like this there you go put one up here as well and we can go ahead and start putting in things like um, where are they like this here that there and then if we want to we can do our um, our basic look do something like this and then here but you can really do anything that you want as far as making it look good so it's it's pretty easy to work in um, good design and everything and um i like it a lot so let's go ahead and save this real quick um i'm gonna use uh, a name that i've already used which is little test save it and then i'm going to show you ships that i've made or at least one ship to show you kind of the the enormity that you can use in building a ship so let's go ahead and open up we'll go to the shadow knight fighter and this is a ship that I've built that, um, that is, of course, mostly fighter. That's all I use it for is fighting. Um, you have a lot of solar panels um, everywhere. You can see solar panels here. 
as well as on the top here we also have solar panels in in these little crevices you can see the engine bays as well and this probably took me a good three hours to build uh, just doing the interior and then finally the exterior itself so it's took a little bit of time um, so the way this works if we go inside we have uh, and I'm probably gonna delete something because I'm really bad about that we have these ammo boxes right here in the front we have it set so that this ammo box and this ammo box plus these two are used for the main guns this right here is used for the turrets these um, these cargo pads that's where you'd have all your ammunition then I have a um, a cargo area here and over here to store different resources in on the sides we have our missile launchers we can throw robots out the side here and have them either attack or repair our ship then we also have three more ammo boxes that go to the main guns on both sides uh, leading back into your engineering area which is where we have six small generators for our shields as well as um, the ability to do the buffs here two printers uh, actually four printers leading into our main engine room which is not very well designed uh, again where I was saying that if you had something to attack you and you need to repair it I have a lot of things on the ship that are wrong so if we go to the next floor up you'll see that I have all of these um, these generators in a line that you can't access because they're behind glass <laughs> So it's it's all wrong there. Then in this section over here, we have more generators again behind glass. And um, this is my main cargo bay. This is where the oxygen is, where the assembler is, as well as a teleporter to teleport oxygen or hydrogen straight into the tanks. Then we can go up again and we'll be into the cockpit area. See that uh, here's the cockpit as well as a, uh, a map um, and more uh, turret or these are for the turrets these ammo boxes and then you have six turrets three on each side and then last is the teleporter room so you can come into here you can pick up ammo here on this side pick up um, guns on the other side and then you have terminals that you can check so if you're under attack and you're just uh, joining the, the ship, you can see what's going on. But that's this. This is, uh, this is just a ship that I ended up building that um, I use a lot in, in solo play, and it works really well. I'm pretty sure it would work really well in uh, multiplayer as well, just because of the fact that it is built to be a massive gunship, and it wrecks face and you can i mean it probably holds close to twenty thousand ammo for the main guns and then um let's see 12 times three so 3600 ammo for the uh, turrets themselves so but anyway that is that's it this is the building tool and in the next day or even this day depending on whenever i post it will be working on building a ship for our actual series, something that we'll use to travel throughout the universe. And maybe later on we'll build even a space station or we'll build um, a, a, a way vehicle. The only problem is, is with this game versus say space engineers is that you don't have, um, you don't have the ability to have a landing bay within your ship to have other ships on it. Though one of the really cool things is, is that you can put a ship builder on your ship so that you can always build another ship. Um, that way, say you have a second uh, a, a multiplayer, you can actually have a second player following along next to your ship, protecting you while you're mining things along those lines. So 
just things just things I'm uh, I'm gonna be working on so the next video like I said is going to be building a ship it'll probably take two or three videos to do it because I'm planning on making a pretty big ship and I'll probably do two to three hours at a time and probably do it in high speed so anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this is cypher deck peace out